So let's have a look at the contents. It's the normal kind of headings that you might expect, but but I'm going to try and put some emphasis on them that I hope hope will help with the the, the, the management of the of of the risks, um, the points of the partnership agreement, uh, land reg registration. Oh, Ham Bell, everyone who's heard me before will know how much I, I like that case. Well, it's it's farm tax. So we're going to be looking at the, 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 the farmhouse um, and various cases uh, around that. We're also going to be looking at passing down to the next uh, generation while the going is while the going is good. Um, yeah, and, and lifetime, which ties into or was a duplication for lifetime transfers while while tax rates are, are, are low. And when I come to the slides, as we all realize, farmers are reluctant to you know, give away control um, and, and, and it can be a very difficult uh, subject for them. We will be looking at uh, sales where we'll be looking at business asset disposal relief. We'll be looking at, at rollover uh, and, and we'll be looking at farm development land because it's the development potential on the farm that, it, that in many ways is, is the source of the, the financial rescue for farmers which haven't been making much money, which are now not going to be making much money now that the BPS is 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 going and we're, we're we're dealing with farming for the environment. Got to have a look at the farming companies because, uh, well, we just have to because there's been the super deduction 130% that only farming companies have. And, and there is the the uh, research and development relief, which is which is down there. It's very broad, this one, uh, and we'll be looking at the SDLT mixed rate and, um, and, and an article on that, which is about the commerciality of, 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 of woodland and, and the need for, for, for a permanent, uh, permanent farm. One of the disadvantages of the lifetime gifts is the loss in uplift in, 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 in value. When, when dad passes over his uh, um, the, 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 the farm to... Uh, part of the farm to uh, son and daughter say equally um they get it at the the rate the 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 the, the value um his base cost for capital gains tax there's no uplift on death if he dies it goes up to market value and, and there was one of those ots reports said hey he doesn't get that let's just Let's, let's give let's not give that uplift in in value they still get it as if it was a a, a lifetime gift at the at the base cost so one of the disadvantages for tax is they get it at at, at either say the 1982 value when they bought it in the 90s when they bought it in 2000 could be pretty low compared to the very high values now some farmers love this that means they're unlikely to sell. The, the children will not want to sell because, hey, they're going to get their potentially big, uh, um, yeah, big, big uh, tax, tax bills be, be, because of it. Um, so the risk management is, is to look at the IHT and the CGT planning to get together. This is about the low capital gains tax. Uh, before the slide before was really about the, the the beneficial IHT, although I've merged them, that merged them um, together somewhat, and 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 we have to have and it's it's about doing the calculations. It's about making the client aware if they go for it, doing the calculations and really looking about what it what it is like. 